All right, to your questions, uh, going to the first one, there were a couple that I actually, I made a contact with a, an awesome flight doc who is going to remain anonymous, but uh, this flight doc has given me some good information. He has a background in psychiatry, so to answer some of those questions, which eventually we'll do the mental health stuff, uh, probably uh, February, uh, I want to do a video about that. But uh, the two questions they had... Let's see. First one was becoming a fighter pilot with ADHD. Mover, I've been enjoying your, I've been enjoying watching your videos for quite a while now. And I first found you when I was looking into becoming a fighter pilot. I'm from, I'm from Minnesota. I'm 15. I want to join the Air Force and be a pilot. But I've recently been diagnosed with ADHD. I'm aware that it is a disqualifying condition for what I want to do. But I was wondering if it's possible to get a waiver for it. How difficult is it to get a waiver for this kind of a condition? I've only been on medication for about half a year. I'm not sure if it, this is a factor or not. It's really important for me as it has been a passion of mine for a while. And I really do take it seriously. If you have any other tips for me so I can be better prepared, I'd really appreciate it. I love what you're doing. Keep up your great videos. You're doing a great thing by inspiring our nation's future pilots. Hopefully I'll be able to reach my goal despite my condition. Thanks for all that you're doing. So uh, I sent that off to the flight doc. That's one of two. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, so the following are the general recommendations that this doc has for everybody. Make them tell you no definitely applies with the addendum. Only a flight surgeon from that particular service should be the one telling you no. Not your civilian doctor, even if he or she is a former flight doc. Medicine and rules are always changing. Also, if one service doesn't want you, try another one as they are all have different medical regulations and needs. A second opinion is always warranted when trying to save or start a flying career, civil or military. I'll often recommend people go to the Department of Aerospace Medicine at the Mayo Clinic. No, I don't get any money for these recommendations. I am biased because I did my aerospace medicine residency there. However, they're the most famous hospital in the world. They have true experts in aerospace medicine who are well acquainted with both the U.S. military, NASA, FAA requirements. Very pilot friendly. Pilots come from all over the world for treatment and consultation at Mayo. So that applies military or civilian. And that's kind of that that's the background of this expert that uh, has graciously given their expertise. Uh, if anyone is going to make those organizations reconsider, it's Mayo. And they've been very successful in overturning inappropriate diagnoses. All right, for the questions, the first one for ADHD, and then I'll get to the other one. Uh, ADHD on medications. This is disqualifying and non-waverable for good reason. If you can't function without medication, it is a definite risk to flight safety. The next steps. One, stop the medication. If this is not possible because you can't function without it, then being a pilot is unfortunately not a good job for you, just as though you have a seizure disorder or type 1 diabetes. Two, get a therapist and let them know you want to work on behavioral techniques to function in the situations that have caused you problems. Tell them why. Tell them medications are not an option for your goals. Three, when you are functioning at your best due to behavioral techniques, try to have the diagnosis overturned or downgraded by an expert. You will likely have to have been off the medication for a couple of years and demonstrate high functioning, i.e. excellent grades, etc., while off medications. You'll possibly have to go through some formal neuropsychology testing. Uh, next, get a civilian pilot's license. Though the limitations on ADHD on meds are also disqualifying for civilian pilots, the steps I've described are commonly done, and then the candidate can be granted a medical and get an FAA pilot's license. Military will take more convincing. So a civilian pilot's license is another way of demonstrating that you can function without the medication. This is arduous. However, people have done it and succeeded. Likely, they never truly had ADHD or it was very mild. If you're not willing to try, then don't want to be a pilot enough. As an aside, ADHD is another one of the sexy diagnoses. My words. In mental health, along with PTSD and bipolar disorder, it's overdiagnosed and there's a pill that helps everyone do better. On, uh, sorry, there's a pill that helps and everyone does better on a stimulant. So the prescriber seems like a great clinician. They don't realize they're sinking the career of an aviator. I get the, but I must have ADHD as the Adderall or Ritalin makes me so much better all the time. Response to a stimulant doesn't confirm a diagnosis. So uh, that answers that question. I know it's it's not a yes, but it's definitely a path forward. And so you, you just have to continue and keep making them tell you no. Let's see what the comments are saying real quick. 
Uh, your stream is for poor so far. What does that mean? Um, probably on your end. All right, back to the other question, because this was two parts here. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Here we go. Hello, this is Eric. Please do not refer to me by my last name, which is not given. So good. It's hard to do that if it's not there. I am planning on going to Navy ROTC or Air Force ROTC route, but just a few months ago, I broke both wrists and did have metal plates and pins surgically implanted into each. Both wrists are fully functional and healed now and would not hinder any performance in anything from PT to flying. I was wondering if these things would still disqualify me from UPT or even ROTC, and if they do, are there waiver for the, waivers for these kind of things? Thank you, and God bless. Going back to the flight doc, uh, the answer... <clears throat> Retained hardware after an orthopedic procedure. Very likely waiverable. This is one that I would feel very comfortable putting forward for a waiver as it would pose no danger to flight safety. Every case is individually considered. Waiverable as long as there is no obstruction of motion or irritation or pain when pressure is applied to the area or the area is hit and the person is able to live a physically active life. From the USAF waiver guide. Obtain copies of all medical notes, including operative notes and follow-up and letters from the orthopedic surgeon physical therapist, and any other clinicians involved stating how perfect you are. The waiver will require these, so have them ready. Demonstrate that it doesn't affect you through excellent PT test scores and through participation in sports. If you're turned down by one service, try another service. This is a situation that, if there are truly no limitations, should not be denied. There you go. There is a chance. Um, let's see. Next question. Going back to you guys, make sure we're still uh cool all right we're still on track here next question comes from greg i recently found your favorite handgun is the one i'm planning on purchasing soon after i get my disability sadly i don't know if you may remember that i've been waiting a while on this i fell in february 2020 my mobility is not the greatest i miss shooting and one of my friends turned me on the staccato thought it'd be a great a better weapon than my glock service weapon to carry as its accuracy is so much better thinking about a red dot as well what are your thoughts Greg in Tulsa. Well, Greg, uh, so what I have, this is back before they became staccato. They've done some brand changes and stuff. Here's a picture. This is my STI 2011. I did a review with um, uh, Deuce. Uh, it's got mover on the other side. Uh, th these are just the fiber optic sights, which I really like. I mean, red dots, everybody's going to red dots. Uh, my agency is actually going to be issuing Gen 5 Glocks with the ability you know, they're MOS, so you can put a red dot on it and they've got specific ones you can do. It's a good, it's a good thing. I like, uh, the 2011, I don't know if they still make it, but I think it's a great, um, uh, great handgun, great shooting gun, uh, needs to run very clean. So you have to make sure, uh, you have, um, good ammo because without it will have failures, failure to, uh, eject, failure to extract kind of stuff. Anyway, uh, let's see if we have any more questions. Uh, so the wings, uh, I talked about that. So it's wings, aviation, gift and supplies. We'll donate nine G knee boards for the top two flyers. First place, nine G knee board, second place, a nine G knee board. And then everyone will get block time in their free Sims. So, uh, there you go. And this question, I'm going to bring old, uh, Wombat in Wombat. You've been sitting there for a really long time, dude. Let's, uh, let's bring in. Are you ready? I'm Here ready. You Can you hear me? I hear you. Perfect. It's my new uh, mic. I've upgraded. Dude, Thank you me. sound so much better than last time. That's awesome. Cool. Uh, and you got lighting, the mood lighting. Look at that. Dude. For those that don't know, this is Wombat. And Wombat, let's see if I got... Is that you, Wombat? That is. God, angels in white. That's beautiful. Can we just leave that up? <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> we'll just leave that. Wombat uh, is the author of Treason Flight. And I apologize I don't have... I don't have the book cover here. I'm sorry. That's fine. That's okay. You surprised me with your, uh, with, with saying yes to do this. Yeah. Well, yeah, I have time. You caught me at a good time. Oh, I do have it. Hold on. It's uploading. Enhance. Enhance. Mm -hmm. There you go. There it is. And it's now an audio book. So it is. And it's good. I, it's a good book. Have you, be honest, have you heard any I, of the audio book? No. Okay. No. Uh, I will tell I, you. Because you've done audio or you've had your books done. That's true. To me, as a newbie author, your person who does your audiobook, I think maybe it's just the first book. There's a relationship there. Like 
it's it's your it's your words going through somebody else. It's was it's really weird. And I'll tell you, uh, Mike Dawson killed it. That's awesome. Killed it. That's awesome. So, yeah, yeah. I, my first two books are by a terrible narrator. I wouldn't say. I was that. just so excited. Oh, no, somebody actually, that, actually, they're not. You've good. said that. No. Well, because your first two books are phenomenal to read. The books are, are good, but the the guy who's reading it sounds like George Carlin doing a Thomas the Tank Engine impression. Is he the one is, who, in the intro, makes the comment about he looks through the HUD? I can't get past that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that was a different time. Hey, but let's get off that topic and make fun of Gonky's latest landing on an aircraft carrier on his YouTube channel. Dude, that thing's going to have a million views. There is, is no doubt in my mind that that thing is going to go viral and Gonky's going to be famous internet superstar. And I am going to bash him for all the things he's forgotten about carrier flying. You should see the comments. All the DCS people like, why didn't you trim for on speed? And Gonky's responding to all of them going, it's DCS. It's wrong. It's not me. And I did like the comment where he's like, what is it? 20, 25 seconds in the groove. And I'm like, I learned so much about his ball flying. Dude, if you would not be a commie with a Mac, you could get in and teach me how to land on the boat. I'll come down there and teach you how to land on the boat, and then we can go shooting. Let's do that. Can I drive the car? Can I drive in the car? You can ride in the car. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, I'll you take can that. ride in the car. Your you ammo. Yeah. Take me for a ride in the car. My ammo. Jesus, dude. That's like $4,000 right there. <laughs> I got to make this afford... lucrative for me somehow. <laughs> I can't and I'll teach you to land it. on a ship. You're the you're the rich airline pilot, Jesus. Hardly. Hardly. Um hold on a second. So, I actually had a relevant question that I'm like, "You know what? This <laughs> That's time what I to tried to Here we go. Here we go. Here's Michael. Uh, I'm a subscriber to your channel. Love the content ranging from interviews to the AIB debriefs and mover mailbags when the Blue Angels came to Tampa, Florida three years ago. I went to their air show, saw their formations. I'm new to knowing these particular formations. I only know about Delta and Diamond formations. I do not know the others like Finger Four, Echelon, or other formations like that. How do I know or how do I distinguish between these particular formations, like the position of the aircraft while during the formation so that way I can understand and tell myself next time that the formation they are doing is what they are doing. I hope you and your dogs are doing well. I hope you stay safe and the other things going on in your life. Uh, so my answer to that is just enjoy the show. However, uh, you taught this stuff. So I, I did. didn't know and half I those. I, I'm not. So I would say as a, as a tactical aviator, you don't use any of those. Like I, none of those, none of those that he just mentioned. Do I have any use for, but go ahead. What do you got? No, uh, Everything that the Blue Angels do, every Navy, and I would argue probably every military pilot has the ability to do, especially a pointy nose pilot. That being said, um, enjoy the show. That's what they're there for. They do a phenomenal job. They have one mission, and that is to look great flying around and motivating people. Uh, don't get caught up in what formations they are, which ones are which, this and that. Just be... Just be awestruck by the power and the freedom of those jets, period, and enjoy it. It's kind of like the person that goes on vacation and takes so many pictures to remember the vacation that they don't ever remember the vacation real time. There you go. There you go. Um, but you could probably go, what do you get the, the in their Navy handbook or something you can get? Uh, in like, uh, I guess. That's what all the DCS guys use. They go get the 245 manual i think you'd be better served reading um uh what is it aerodynamics for naval aviators probably yeah probably. it sounds like a great idea. <laughs> um yeah the thing like gonky's sitting there he's going i can't believe people want to watch me do this i'm like well people want validation for their their stuff i can't believe that people want to watch gonky do that that was horrible ball flying. i thought it was hilarious it was, it was hilarious i was literally I didn't even know he released it. I was out on my stationary bike in the garage at 5 a.m. and it pops you up on YouTube. <laughs> and I'm like, what is this garbage? And I pull it up and I thought I was going to wake the family up. I was laughing so loud. Highly recommend you go look at it. I think it's a great video. It's um, a great video. So to the comments, if you want to, you guys put your comments there. Uh, the first one. Oh, boy. Can you please explain the use of rudder pedals? 
in fighter jets, understand the concept of coordinated turns in general aviation aircraft. How's it using the F-5, T-38, uh, F-16, and F-18? I will tell you, your feet are flat on the floor for most of what you do. However, if you want to turn really fast, the best way to do it at high alpha is with the rudder. Hornet, it loves it. Viper, eh. <laughs> the F uh, T-38 will hurt you, you know, because it, it, it gives you full deflection with the gear down. So you don't ever try to use the rudder because uh, you'll have, you'll flip over and it'll be bad. You'll die. Um, but yeah, I mean, what, what do you think? Just when, when else are you using the rudder? I can't think of you're using In a the Hornet Oxram. slow speed dogfight. That's it. Yeah. 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 Cool. And continuings, I guess it was blurry at the beginning. Don't know why it did that. It, you were a little bit, I was going to try to message you that, but then I couldn't figure out how to do it. It's fine. now I, though. I don't know why that's a stream yard uh, thing, I guess I'll have to, uh, um, they said the audio was bad too. What the, you know, it's, it was uh, the whole thing was real choppy at the beginning, but it's fine. Really? I mean, it's been fine since you read the doctor's yeah. comments. So you're good. Ah, uh, well the doctor's comments were the uh, thing. Robert wants to know if the F-18 and Microsoft Flight, I haven't tried it, but I'm going to say no. Just right off the bat. It's, it's probably not. Uh, I have not. Have you ever flown with anybody from Europe? Uh, we had some instructors. We had some French instructors, some German instructors that were great. Um, the French dudes were awesome when I was based in Meridian. Cause all they would do is buy everything that was us. Like the one guy drove around in a lifted Jeep Wrangler and had a Mustang and a Harley. And I was like, my God, bless you for just, yeah. he was just living. His three year tour was USA. Awesome. They do that. Like in they'll come here cause they'll get these huge stipends and they'll buy like Ferraris or Lisa for, I don't know what they do. Yeah. Whatever. Finance awesome. a Ferrari. Uh, oh yeah, all the French students do had great cars. Yeah, Dutch. The Dutch will show up and they'll be like, "Oh, here's my Aston Martin." You're like, yeah, you're like, "What? what? <laughs> nice, nice." Yeah. Um, so. Yeah. Did you? I've never spent any time in Lemoore, but you probably have. Oh yeah, you, I met my wife in Lemoore. There you go. The one girl you got her out. I. It's, it's weird. She didn't hesitate. So I don't yeah, because she had to get out of Lemoore. Yeah, I have. I've landed there one time. That's it. Yeah, That's it's. It. I will tell you what I tell everybody about Lemoore. Um, it is great to fly in and out of because you can go anywhere easy. Yeah. Um, you can do live up in Fallon and a Charlie on one tank of gas. You can do. You can do it all. Um, other than that, you know. Um, remember Oral? He was on my uh, stream last year. He got our rental car stolen from the hotel. <laughs> that was the, the, what I remember from the debt is he got the rental car stolen and the cops are banging on his door, you know, at like 3 AM, like, cause it was used in like a crime or something and mm -hmm. they're like accusing him. And he's like, well, I, I was sleeping. I've got, you know, and yeah, it's yeah. a great place to fly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, do you have a dirt bike? No. Do you have a dirt bike? I've had biker? some. Yeah. That's gonky. That's gone. I had one. He got me into it. When I was in Meridian, I rode a lot. Uh, please don't talk. That's stupid. I'm going to talk <laughs> guns if I want to, uh, because this is America where I am. Um, guns don't kill people. They're tools. People are weapons. Guns are not. That's just, wait, I mean, wait, are guns tools or are people tools? Both. <laughs> yeah. But the guns are the tools. The people are the ones using the tools. <laughs> So the people could be the tools, too. <laughs> but for different, different reasons. Uh, Paul wants to know when's Wombat's next release. That's a great question. I promise you it will not be a minute before June 1st of next year. I. Okay. Why? Because that's when I officially retire. Oh, is this one got some stuff in it? The Chinese want to read? Oh, scandalous. Scandalous. It's I, not coming I out while I'm still on anybody's books. Dude, I've written 1,200 words in the next book for the that's Spectre awesome. series. Yeah. Good so for you. That's as far as I've gotten so far. Uh, where can they get the audiobook? Just Amazon anywhere. Uh, Audible, yeah. Amazon, it's out there. There's a, I know, I look at Amazon more. You probably do too. Uh, maybe not. I don't know. But um, there's a sample on Amazon that you can listen to. Probably on Audible too. 
Uh, have you ever met anyone or been aware of anyone with the greatest presence of situational awareness? Uh, his name is Wombat. Thank you. Yeah. That's, I don't, yeah. That's a, hey, that is a question. Yeah. I, I wouldn't say, I think every fighter, I mean, unless they're bad, like a good fighter pilot has situational awareness. A bad one is the one without. So I could probably tell you the people who were without better than. Yeah. They're not fighter pilots. Yeah. Or they're just young and inexperienced. You know, they're, they're mm -hmm. not. Uh, speaking of which. Mm -hmm. That's a good segue, or or not at all. Thank you. Let's take a look at the F thirty five going into the drink. Oh God, uh, this video is awesome. Is, is this the one? If, do I have the right one? This is yeah, all the do. independent. Yeah, be careful. Uh, be careful what videos you just pull up on your live stream. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> um, you know it's good because it's a video of some dude's desktop. That's the best way. So you know that's legit. Mm -hmm. So do is there audio? Do, do we need to? Okay, are you ready? play leaked footage yep that's because it's off the dude's desktop see this yeah. is where you're not going to have enough end speed i can tell you yeah. that right now it, it was apparent <laughs> it was apparent now they fly the charlies no the bravos right i have no the idea. tilting yeah look see that the fans i assume there. so based on that yeah run runway if you want to call oh, that oh bye bye fat amy <laughs> She cannon balled right off the end. Now, do you think the ship ran over it? Uh, they're angled deck, aren't they? So probably not. Or are they? Are they not angled deck? I have no idea. Yeah, that's a good point. If um, if they're not angled deck, which they might not be with that jump jet type of thing. Yeah, possibly. The important thing is the dude was okay or do that. Yeah, that is. I've heard the ejection seat and sequence, and that's pretty good. Uh, yeah, I mean, you can get hurt with the shrapnel and stuff. Mm -hmm. like, uh, we've had a model people eject and have like parts of the canopy embedded in their neck. Wait, do they? Is it like a T forty five? Yeah, it's a, it's a canopy fracture system, uh, so you go through the canopy. Um, why do we do that? Because of government. Actually, I think I, the ejection seat that was a British thing. I don't understand it. I mean, the next thing they're going to have is a fighter jet that's single engine Wait. that operates off the ship with no internal gun. Uh, Wait, blasphemy. You can't throw the canopy off because it hinges the wrong way because of the lifting fan. Uh, yeah. Right? So most ejection seats, the canopy pops, it goes that way into the windstream, and then the seat goes. Yeah. Uh, which was point. a design flaw. Flaw? It was a design feature of the F-16 because if the canopy didn't go, there was a um, there was like a metal wire that was attached to the canopy, and if that didn't go, there was no way to get out. Oh. So we, we would actually practice, you know, the, you've got the rest of your life to figure this out. You know, you pull the handle, nothing happens. Okay. Check to make your seats arm, pull the handle, nothing happens. Okay. Hit the spider guard, get your arm in. Okay. Pull the can handle, nothing happens. Okay. Now hit the canopy up switch and then go back in. Oh, oh nothing gosh. happens. So then as a last resort, and at this point, you know, you're losing your arm, you would reach back and start cranking the manual canopy and hope that that worked. And that was the first thing you checked on the walk around was to make sure that that lanyard was attached because if it yeah. weren't, if it's not attached, you, you're done. Cause, Cause the Hornet, the goes, if it didn't go, you just go through it. Right. Isn't that what I remember? I think it had a, the pierce. It had the, yeah. 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 And the T 45, it just shattered and then melted into whatever parts of your body. Yeah. Were exposed. Huh? Uh, let's see here. Let's go back to our better than the E 2s ejection seat. The one that doesn't exist? Correct. <laughs> uh, let's see. So are, you are saying the flying Dorito that the Blues isn't a tactical. So I will say anything closer than about a mile is not tactical. I would go as far as to say anything called the flying Dorito is not tactical. That sounds delicious, though. <laughs> it does. <laughs> uh ask how we got their nicknames there are videos on that i won't rehash that wombat has already did you you talked about that on one of our nope but you're not gonna is that what it was you weren't gonna nope. okay it's classified classified uh let's see i don't know i mean they both feel like video games to me yeah i was uh, gonna say a lot of people so i'm i'm new to this can we anchor yeah. on for a second yep i do spend some time in a simulator you do. That's your job. Um, I don't understand the constant desire to want to know how accurate it feels because it feels the same as I feel right now, right? Or am I missing something? 
You are. You are. I understand this. And it's not, it has, I think, personally, I think it's a psychology thing. Okay. I think it's less about feel and more about wanting to believe that you could do it. Like, because I get this feeling. If I go play, like, okay. racing or a racing game, mm -hmm. and I win, I want to equate that to me being able to win in a race car in real life. So okay. I think the psychology of it is you want it as real as possible because you want to feel like you are in the jet doing that, you know, like I'm just one heartbeat away from, from going out there. And I think that's where that okay. I need it to be realistic thing, because when you've never done it, you don't know what you don't know, sure. you know, and, and you don't, you kind of miss like people think, well, procedurally I can do it, which may be true. Like I can go start up a Hornet because I've done this a million times in this game. And but it's I not think that they, hard. Correct. <laughs> However, when you're not doing it with gear yeah. and, you know, all the stuff that you add, G-forces, the sense of I'm going to die. You know, I was on the phone with Gonky today about that. And somebody had just said, hey, Gonky, why don't you uh, why don't you do this at night? See how you do. And Gonky's like, it'll be the same because there's no fear of death. No. And he's like, that's the difference. It's the fear of death. Agreed. So. Agreed. Uh, Which is a uh, pretty strong fear. Not gonna lie. Uh, so I don't know what this is about, but somebody's angry. David is not happy. Sorry, David. Mm. If you're going to be that unhappy, I wouldn't put your last name. Just a second. I think, I think that's just YouTube. Maybe I shouldn't show it. I'm sorry. No. Uh, this is actually for you. Ooh. I'm in college getting my instrument rating and going for my multi and commercial. Can't decide whether I should join the Marines to fly or just get my hours for ATP. Why is this for Wombat? Well, it's because I mean, you look like a Marine. Do I? <laughs> I put my crayons off to the side so you wouldn't see them. Yeah. Um, I'll answer it. I think it really depends on you need. It's a very simple answer. Get up from the computer, walk over to a mirror look in the mirror. Do you want to fight for your country and for the men and women next to you? Then go Marines or any service. Uh, do you not? Then go get your ATP. Are you confused? Then join the Coast Guard. Coast Guard, huh? Do that one out there. I wasn't expecting that. That's a plot twist. Is that how you do your books? You just plot twist just right out? Yeah, of no, I plan nothing. I think that's evident from reading it, isn't it? <laughs> uh, I agree with that. I mean, so... I there, mean, are two, really? there are two separate ways of flying. I mean, oh AT, gosh, yeah. airline flying is, you know, the motherhood or the admin. It is point A to point B. By exception, is it interesting by design? You want it to not be interesting because you don't want exciting, you know, things happening. Military flying, unless you almost died on takeoff or landing, we don't talk about it. Yeah. We talk about the tactics. Well, in the Air Force, the Navy, yeah, there's a little bit of landing stuff. You well, the boat. I mean, the boat in it itself is its own. But yeah. yes, I agree. Yeah, it's, yeah. In the fleet, in the Navy, we do not spend much time on anything other than tactics. Yeah, yeah. So, so I mean, it's just different. And you have to be willing to provide that blank check up to and including your life for you know your country whether you agree with it or not you you have to be able to do that so i think it's a different mentality like you were saying yeah all right uh when you do aerobatics uh literally that's all i'm paying attention to um i mean that's that's how aircraft fly man i want to be in the right whether it's looking at the aoa gauge or feeling the jet like you know especially a jet like a t-38 i can feel where the Sure. Where the AOA is based on the buffet on the wings. And I don't Do you guys fly AOA fly. or are you airspeed in T-38? For landing? Sure. Uh, I do. You do. I do. I didn't know if there was a gauge. I didn't know. There is. There is. Oh. It's it's not like Hornet accurate, but it gives you a rough idea. Um, gotcha. I, I prefer T-45 is the same. We calculate based on fuel weights and stuff, but I back everything up um, with the AOA gauge. Especially with that lawn dart. My yeah. God. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> Um, let's see. Do you think you'll ever get a chance to fly an F5 or F20? No, maybe an F5, not an F20. I don't even know where you'd find an F20. Well, once your movie deal comes out, you'll just buy one, right? Yeah. Well, what is it? F20? Should I when know? When your movie deal comes out, we'll get you an F20. Any day now. That, in fact, we'll swap out the E2 with the F20. 
Like it'll just be a <laughs> yeah, it's totally interchangeable. If there's anyone from Hollywood listening, it is completely interchangeable, and I will sell out in a heartbeat. Let's make that clear right now. Yeah, <laughs> we all know. We <laughs> want to make sure we all know. Biggest challenge in learning to fly the T thirty eight landing. Oh my god, that thing. It's just a tough, it's a tough aircraft, you know, final turn, high speeds, low flare. You start the flare in the overrun, you know, I mean, you're, you're 10 feet over the overrun, you're three feet over the threshold and you're flaring it off and you're still landing 500 feet down. Cause there's just so much, I mean, it's just, there's no wing to it. Slick. Yeah. Also, I think the biggest challenge is you're back with that stupid parachute. Is it like uh, a T-37? Did you ever fly the T-37? I did not, but it is. It's, it's the same okay. parachute. Ugh, same yeah, that's parachute. uncomfortable. I still know that's uncomfortable. That was almost 20 years ago. Uh, this is a very common question. Uh, and the answer is, I have no opinion. Do you know anything about the Rafale? It Rafale seems pretty one. cool. Yeah, I saw the F-22 versus Rafale video. I was like, no, nah, it looks cool. Yeah, no, I lost horribly against one. Did you really? Like, yeah, like a champ. champ. Oh, I got caught because you suck or because it was no, good? I it was hundred percent. I fighter piloted it up and tried to be cocky and I lost bad. Okay. Like one circle. Was it slow speed fighter? It was but, just, I, wait, were you in a Hornet or an E2? Hornet. <laughs> <laughs> I won every fight I fought in the E2. Everyone. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. Next generation pilot helmet. I'm not sure if this is what I think it's talking about. Sounds heavy. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna answer until I know. Uh, so clarify your question. I don't. What 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 helmet are we talking about? Because I just got an email about a new helmet competitor, but that's something for later on the channel. Okay. Uh, here's a comment from Michael. Guns are tools. I have many different guns because my toolbox just doesn't just have a screwdriver. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Fine. Everybody's yeah. got a hobby. Who cares? It's not just a hobby. I don't mean, don't be it's, stupid. Well, I'm just yeah. saying, don't do your thing. Whatever. It, it's. Uh, I have a car that I've driven a thousand miles in the garage. It's a hobby. People think I'm stupid. I don't have a golf cart in my garage. Who cares? Well, I mean, it's yeah. But anyway, uh, this is a want. good one. Book signing tours for either of you in the near future. I'm afraid of book signings. I don't know. You've never all the women you from the last one. No, from nobody. I sat at the door of a Barnes and Noble and was the greeter for two hours. And that's so, the only reason, like, other than my friends that showed up and were like, hey, how's it going? You know, it was, oh, hey. And people would look and go, oh, what book is this? Okay, what's this about? It's a, it's a very one is the loneliest number kind of feeling. So um, I, I, I can comment if. Uh, yeah, no, please. The, uh, I'm trying to be tactful here. Based on some conversations we've had offline about authors. Uh, oh, yeah. I've noticed some that do book signings as relatively new authors. And my first thought every time I hear of one is, good for that guy or girl, I really hope it works out. For the same reasons you're saying, because I could see myself going to any number, even if I lived near a military base or if I lived, I mean, you, you could do a book signing, I could do a book signing in Norfolk, Virginia, where they teach you to fly the Hawkeye. And there's a Hawkeye on the book and I wouldn't expect one person to come. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's tough. It, it almost seems like it's kind of a lost thing unless you're yeah. at some place where it's there's going to be a lot of it. Plus, plus COVID, all that stuff. COVID happened. killed everything. Yeah, yeah. That's, I do have a nice pen for it though. So if anybody wants a signed book, hit me up. <laughs> there you go. Hit, hit up Wombat. What does push? So push means go to that frequency. The push versus go. Push doesn't require. Well, Air Force. Push does not require check in. Go requires a check-in. So they say push yeah, four. That means everybody switched to people. Still How did Gonky that. survive flying in the Air Force? You make it so complex. Dude, <laughs> I, we have guys, and I've, I've bitched about this. They check in on every frequency. I'm like, God, shut up. If, if I'm not on the right frequency, you'll figure it out, you know? Or, <laughs> and I've done this before, I'll just meet you on tower on the way home. You know, mm -hmm. I mean... Screw it. Mm -hmm. I don't, I'm a wingman. I don't need to know, you know, whatever. I don't yeah. say a word. Um, there goes a hundred dollars. I'm, I'm so far behind on these, these, uh, yeah, there's some good ones. Catch up. Yeah. I'm sorry, dude. This is the speed. This I, I offer at. 
Rumor mm. has it they left the inlet covers in, but we will see. I don't buy that. On the F-35? Yeah. I don't buy it. Not the Wait, where's covers. the inlet? I'm not good no, with a that. Rain, a rain cover. I bet it's like a probe cover, you know, so it didn't have the right speed oh. data, you know. That's yeah, happened. That wouldn't cause it to go. Nah, whatever. Uh, I have no opinion. It's the same as all the other ones. I think the F-35 is a very capable aircraft. It's just not very sexy. That sounds like a company line that you have put together over many hours of trying to put that very politically. I said it last night at the thing. I'm like, it's a very sexy, very ugly Nicely aircraft, done. but it's very, Nicely very done. nice. Uh, it does not. It uses the Martin Baker. Uh, let's see. Oh, Rick says $2. Thanks, Rick. I don't know what that means. What does that mean? He, he super chatted, I think. I don't know what that means. He, he, he gave me $2. Oh, do I get, do I get 50 cents of that? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm, re I'm reading the comments here. Uh, Sorry. Just want to say, I enjoy the content. Looking at the fighter pilot. Awesome. Thank you. I, there needs to be a way to anonymize this. No, it's good. Are you, uh, are you a Mickey on Stan or a flanker fanboy? I'm not an anybody fanboy. I'll tell you that right now. I'd probably be a flanker fanboy. I like the flanker. Yeah. Any advice on gears, kneeboard headset? Well, the headset, uh, light speed aviation. They, they, uh, provided my headset for my helicopter training and I really liked it. I've heard good things. Uh, kneeboard. Well, I mean the nine G that were as part of this, if you win the tournament or as top two, you can get a kneeboard. Yeah. Those are the best kneeboards in my opinion. Also yeah. kneeboard has an N in it, but that's fine. That's a keyboard. Oh, <laughs> uh, pins. I like the ones they give us that have the, um, one is red. One is a pencil. I don't, I don't have one here. Yeah. Yeah. Those military ones. Yeah. It's like, they're like $50 red, dollar military. Pencil, yeah, dude. It's yeah. Uh, in fact, I had a group commander. I flew with him. He flew my back seat in the T 38. And at the end of the thing, he walks up to me and he's like, Hey, man, mover. That was a great, great flight. I really appreciate that. And I thought he was going to give me a challenge coin. Yeah. And he gave me the $50 pencil and I'm like, well, I mean, I would have taken the challenge coin. You raided the office supplies and gave me the pencil, but that's fine. Yes. I'll take it. It's the thought that counts. Hey, so on pens, can I make a plug? Sure. The pen is mightier. No, it's not. Tactile <laughs> turn. Go check them out. Tactile turn. Okay. Not cheap. Texas company. Love them. Have three are of you, them. Recommend it. Are, are you a, uh, their official brand ambassador? No, not yet. No, I, I don't. Like I said, I'll sell out to anybody, but I actually do like their pens. Uh, let's see. Airport was, uh, most recent was Stennis. You've been to Stennis, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, I, dude, I'm really far behind. I'm Ooh, old. Hey, additionally, ammo, uh -huh. riding the Corvette. I'll teach you how to land on a ship. Helicopter ride. God damn. This is a expensive day for me. Jesus. I'd buy you booze, but you don't drink. So yeah. Hey, check I'll it bring out. Me a signed copy of the book. Wait, you already I have bought that. some shooting gloves. I do not have shooting gloves. Look at this. These are the most, these are the best shooting gloves I've ever, I, already, I just got them. Those they're are awesome. Nice. They fit like the actual, you know, sometimes you get the space in the finger. Mm -hmm. That would suck perfectly. for the shooting gloves. Yeah, fits perfectly. Uh, have you ever known a fighter pilot without a sense of humor? Yes, a whole bunch of them. Oh my God, the majority. A whole bunch of them. A whole yeah. bunch of There's them. a reason they're not on YouTube, they, Facebook, or anything. They usually make 06. Yeah, they usually make make leadership. Yeah. They're awful. They're called Skipper. I'm just kidding. Uh, oh, that is the same helmet. Yeah. So I will be stand by. Stand by on the helmet. I'm interested. Is it? Uh, we'll talk offline. I haven't yeah, heard Yeah, we'll talk I need online. to get more up to date. There is a new helmet. We're going to check it out. Uh. Daniel says it certainly is. Book signings for me were painful and weird. See, there you go. You know, as an author, he says. So Daniel's obviously written books, and it is. I mean, you know, I don't know. It seems a little pretentious to me. You know, it does. unless you're doing like an event, like, oh, we just happen to be that, and you know, meet and greet, do something else. But me sitting there signing books like I'm some guy that's important. I'm not. Well, and I also think 
it's 2021, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, social sure. media is the way you get stuff out. Yeah. Doing this yeah. gets more word out there, gets more info, gets more people involved than any book signing. Or you could be a Twitter fanboy and just tweet each other. Into- I am on Twitter. I'm not a yeah. fanboy, though. And I know what you're talking about, and you're very, getting very close to the line. So, Here's one. Oh, yeah, that's special. Fits. Yeah, is it, you know about this one. We need to do this one. We do. Uh, Wombat, so we have Wombat's a plan to help me this. with this one. We do have a plan. We just never have gotten around to it. No, I know. But we do need uh, to do it. I love that movie. Uh, I've talked to an Air Force heli pilot. We had Jolly Pilot on the channel. Great mm-hmm. guy. The job was way easier than actually flying at it. What? I don't understand, I don't understand that. Yeah, I don't understand that. Why would he do what now? Pass. <laughs> Uh, I'm not going to comment on any mishaps until the IB is released. And even then, sometimes... But it was sad, regardless. It's very sad, yeah. Very tragic loss of a student pilot. Uh, Any advice for people that want want to become a jet pilot? Yes, make them tell you no. Have you heard of this channel? Yeah, make them tell you no. That's it. You can make them tell you no.com. There's a whole frequently asked questions thing, and there's a Facebook group and everything. I want to know if that's his car. I doubt it. (laughs) <laughs> seriously if, if he's like it, all right so if this is his car and he wants to get advice to be a jet pilot just go buy a jet yeah that's my advice just go buy one dude you buy us one too. got the yeah go buy me one um j20 lacking an internal cannon no nah, you don't need an internal cannon yeah hey rick mailbag who would win in a dog fight chuck yeager bob hoover or sir cornwallis wilbur that's me who is likely the greatest flyer of all time. The obvious answer is Cornwallis. Unless Gonky's involved, Gonky might win. You've never seen me dogfight. You don't know. That's true. But come on, bring it. Bring it. Bring it. Get yourself a DCS set up and, and nerd it out. Uh, Ken says, has anyone said you look like Slider? I think uh, he probably smells like Slider, but I don't uh, know what it looks like. Slider. I have been told I look like a much fatter version of Slider. <laughs> the, the later years. The later <laughs> You shaved with a Mach 3. <laughs> uh, Lightspeed is for flying, not for being a YouTuber. I don't know what that means. Me neither. This is fun. Yeah. Uh, if NATO went to you for the Su-75 reporting name, uh, what, is an, what is a Russian w- way of saying Fat Amy? <laughs> fat Amy Ski. Obisa <laughs> Obese, obese Olga. <laughs> uh, have you done VR 1355? You ask me that like I know what 1355 is. Yeah, where is, is. that? Is, I don't yeah, I've, that I've flown some VR routes, but I have no it idea. It sounds familiar, so that's why. But I don't remember where it is. Uh, super sticker, thanks. Ooh. Appreciate that. That's $10 is $10. Mover, any chance we get an aerobatic series with you like you did the helicopter? Yeah, Tell you what, do aerobatic in the helicopter. Yeah. <laughs> Red Bull stuff. that. Dude, they've got a, a Cobra now. What? Yeah, H1. That's their demo. What about a little bird? Do they have a little bird? I want to fly on a little bird. I don't even know what yeah. that means. It sounds cool. I watch uh, Blackhawk Black Down, Down too many times. Yeah. I want to fly on a little bird. So Make my that happen. Safety. My safety right here. Yeah. Uh, so I, I wouldn't say no. I just say, I don't know. Favorite handgun? Uh, the the Hold on. Put that back up there, right there. Look at that. What is that? It's a STI 2011. Yeah, you were talking about that before. Nine mil. Shoots nine mil. Nail driver, dude. Just a great, yeah. great fire. I'm a SIG guy. I like SIG. Uh, wombat request sounds reasonable and something you would contact your travel agent to reserve. I don't know what that means. What? That's because I'm so far behind on the chat that this is... Uh, really... Zero to 60 uh, no, Dodge that, Viper or, or, or Corvette? very long. No, dude. Um, Zero to 60? Yeah. If you can get traction. the vet. If you're on an unprepared surface, the vet will just spin and yeah, probably yeah. end up in a ditch. Yeah. Well, it's general motors. I understand that. Uh, Are we going to car bash each other? We could do that if you want. Well, you know, I've been to the track with mine. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't hear you. My speaker cut out. Continue. Yeah, I heard that. Okay. Uh, I bought new wheels. So did you. That's I cool. did. I did. I got the forge lines. Ooh. So I'm saving all of like eight pounds. 
What's something you shouldn't do while flying a helicopter or plane? Ooh, that's a good one. Ooh. Your taxes. Um, you shouldn't do a lights test when the other person doesn't know it's coming. Because that makes all the lights come on? Did I ever tell you that story? No, but please do. Two LSOs coming back from Meridian, Mississippi, from the bounce field. My friend, who's still a very good friend, uh, I work with him to this day. We came into the break at sunset as fast as I could get the T-45, within the NATOPS limits, of course. And just as I put G on the aircraft, he did a lights test. Uh-oh. Single engine jet. And uh, he's you know, laughing like he... about it the whole way. I don't say a word till we land. And I told him, do another lights test and think about what light came on first. And what light comes on first in a T-45, I will never forget, is the firelight right here. He was very close to being ejected out of that aircraft, which I'm guessing would have flown easily down to Louisiana before it ran out of gas. Dude, you remember that mishap out at Fresno where the guy's cuff caught the fuel dump and he lit himself on fire and the Fresno Viper guy was like, eject, 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 eject. He didn't like no analysis whatsoever. He just jumped out and the jet kept going. Yeah. They had that down in Kingsville with, uh, I believe it was either the T2 or the A4 days where a guy yeah. bounced a landing and ejected and the plane took back up and flew all the way down to Brownsville before it crashed. <laughs> uh, here's another one. That I think they asked this question every stream. I am not 97 years old, so I have not been in World War II or Vietnam, which is where these things have happened. A couple of Desert Storm guys have had them on the channel, but that's just not a thing. Mm -mm. Uh, Rich wants to know, do you deal with any issues outside in the civilian world? Every day. Have you met civilians? I'm kidding. That's a joke. <laughs> that is a total uh, joke. It is hard to make that transition, though. Yeah. Because yeah. the people that get you, get you. And the people that don't, don't. And it's a different world. That's true. But people don't under that. understand. I think sometimes things can come off. Uh, a little maybe rude because it's direct you know people want you to sugarcoat stuff and you know I'll, I'll just be like no that's stupid next question and people will be like oh my god he doesn't appreciate my feelings which first off that's true i don't yeah no, but second i mean that's that's just the way we are we don't have time we don't have time to like oh hey you if know you think you're dead i mean that's yeah a i uh, charlie was right <laughs> charlie had it had it had it going on uh yes you can meet me at heli expo 2022 Oh, look at you. You're like a I, helicopter fanboy. Now. But I'm not bringing any. They're going to. They said that they're like, we can give you this place for books and stuff. And I'm like, mm, I'm just going to stand there, actually, because I don't want to do that. How many books can you put in a helicopter before it's overweight? It's a great question. It sounds like a math problem in high school. Yeah. Uh, I don't do weight and balances. Just oh, okay, kidding. Cool. Just cool. kidding, F.A. <laughs> uh, oh, my God. What in the world? Oh my God, here's, this is you. I, I have no idea what half these words are. Uh, whew. K Street departure, Kilo or Popeye is uh, when you check in with departure. Fine you're way, telling them right. if you're in the clouds or not. That's all. Okay. All right. Whew, that one hurt. And take a break <laughs> for a second. Unless he's already bought a jet and is looking for advice. Well, if he's bought a jet, if it's cool enough, call him. Yeah, no, no, no. I have a group of people that'd be more than help happy to help him. Uh, like you have enough money, I will leave my day job right now to teach you oh, to yeah, fly dude. anything. You I'll want. be uh, what's his nuts with the MiG twenty nine? I'll be his personal pilot. Yeah. Uh, Mover ruins movies on Flight of the Truth. I've asked you this before. It's not that I've been reluctant. Well, okay, I guess I am reluctant simply because time, because I have not seen that movie since I was like a toddler. And so I don't know what's interesting. And also I need Wombat because it's all movers fault. I watch that movie every Friday. I'm just every a Friday. dumb air force guy. Like I would I'm just going to make fun of stuff. Like I don't know what's right with it's happening. I, We're doing it. Tell the people right now it's happening. Okay. Kids at home. It's going to happen. It's happening. I want to do uh, it. Uh, go watch. I'm, I'm not going to make him answer this because go watch my interview with Wombat because he talked about it, the only man that can throw up in a loop. And yeah. continue the loop. Yeah. And that wasn't even the biggest hurdle. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no and yes. So I've got some people to contact, but I have not officially lined anything up yet.
The Apache. Yeah, sure. Sounds fun. Do you get that little one eye thing in the sim? I am the grazy. I got to put a panty on my head. What movie was that? Firebirds. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's a Navy question. Go ahead. The Air Force doesn't have secondary duties. They, they just do. Fly no, and they sit do. back and play golf. No, they do. They do. First of all, yes, that part was true. <laughs> However, they do. You got scheduling. You got standing eval. You got training. You got safety. The yeah, only you don't difference do any of that until you're. Oh, four and above. No, dude, we have lieutenants. Doing that. No, at the two foots, we have lieutenants doing that. Um, the difference, however, is the Navy actually lets you supervise enlisted. You won't do that in the Air Force unless really? you're like, yeah, because we don't have any job. Dude, we don't have any jobs where. Unless you're like, oh, four and above, like safety might have. So my joke kind of made sense. Kind of. It actually did. Yeah. Cause you won't supervise, you'll have the additional duty, but it's not like in the Navy, like the safety department has enlisted because of maintenance, like because maintenance is, is embedded in the squadron. That's why you end up supervising the enlisted Ooh. in the okay. air force ma maintenance is its own separate thing. So like, we're not supervising the one Charlie's probably because dudes would get in a lot of trouble with their wives. If they did that, they do. Uh, it would be not a, not a good thing, but, uh, yeah. Anyway, the Navy, you do constant secondary jobs. You just work Correct. basically, but it's very rewarding and you learn a lot about leadership. You ever had no shit moment while flying? And what is the most memorable one? <sighs> Watch all the videos. I've talked <laughs> about them. There's so I, many. Yeah. I think one of the like, Oh shit was, I was in the Hornet and didn't hook up the G suit, did a split S. Nice. And that's that. That'll get your attention. You up. That'll get your, just, <laughs> you know, hurtling at the water, losing, losing the lights. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That'll get your attention. Uh, let's see. Should you forget about having a family if you're going to become a fighter pilot? No, you can no, do both. I have a family. Yeah. They're phenomenal. Uh, remember uh, the famous words of Cougar. Wife and kids, sir, almost orphaned today. They've never even seen yeah, it. Yeah, there's a lot of things that are maybe not 100% accurate about Top Gun. I don't want to be the breaking news. Um, but uh, we already did that one. Sorry. Yeah, we did that one. Whoever, have you ever read the story I sent you? Not yet. I have not read anything. The last thing I read was Wombat's book. So mm -hmm. I, will, I will eventually. I'm not going to ask you what you thought live, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Uh, I am getting my commercial. That's a cool gun you got there in your little profile. What is that? AK? Hard to tell. It's a small screen. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to get my commercial rating soon. Uh, the pregnant lady says, Tom Katz. The pregnant lady. It's her name. I didn't. Ten bucks says that's a dude. Well, you're not supposed to ask. No, I'm better. Uh, favorite Vietnam airplane. F4. Yeah. Or A4. F4. Okay. Fair enough. F4 was like the muscle car of fighter A4 planes. has only got one seat, though. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Favorite food? Steak. Cheese fries. Steak and cheese fries. I don't really... With ranch. I don't know. Yeah. Good talk. Yeah. Uh, are you going to do general aviation? If I ever buy an airplane, I will, which, uh, Wombat needs to make me his movie producer. You can be, you get it done. You can run the whole show. Uh, this is your era, your alley. Will supersonic commercial airliners be more affordable than the Concorde? Probably not with inflation. Everything's more expensive. Yeah. P51. Next question. Yeah. Done. P51. Yeah. Hands down. Uh, on the directness. So fighter pilots are Dutch. Dutch people are known for being direct and Americans consider us rude. There are Dutch fighter pilots. How about this? My wife is Dutch. I don't oh, think they're rude at all. I like Dutch, Dutch people. Freaky ditchy. The only thing I can't stand are people that are intolerant of other people and the Dutch. <laughs> uh, sure. 
Email me, cwlemoyne, cwlemoyne.com. We'll set it up. How, how bad is the foam? Oh, it's... Did they do, like, no kidding, like, the, the fire retardant foam? Yeah, I think that stuff's pretty corrosive. Yeah, it? it's not good. Uh, yeah. I can I can speak to that because we had the sensor go off in my change of command and my E2 squadron, and it flooded out our hangar, and it does not do good things. It made for a cool picture, though. Uh, have, wow, this is old uh, cor uh, Raymond here. Have you noticed a correlation between mishap flights and the failure to file a VFR flight plan? <laughs> Ah, uh, it's an inside joke. That's Raymond from the DCS videos being funny. Apparently, he's bored. He he flies for the uh, the the um, cargo. Uh, I didn't think. You, if you think you're dead, I was like, no, oh, I hit him. I, I didn't think. Him. I couldn't believe what I was doing. Yeah. To include the first time I tanked, which was significantly later in my career, I could not believe I was going to touch another airplane airborne. Uh, yes. Yeah, just ask them about it. They'll tell you. Uh, you. But you're not supposed to call them a Nazi. Oh. Nazi? Nod? Nazi? Is that, so you guys are, are you guys fighter weapons school? WIC. What are weapons instructor course. But they've watered it down so that anybody can get a weapon school patch, including people that don't actually fly. Ooh, okay. Yeah, there's like a logistics weapon school on site. What weapons? They don't have... What, what, what weapons I was a level it? four in the E2. So I was a instructor with that same type in the E2 and we don't have weapons, nor did I fly any of those tactics. So what does that tell you? Oh, no. Uh, we've done escorts, mm -hmm. not, not in, in the war, but in training. <sighs> oh, cool. Uh, it was good seeing you. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. there's always so, one kid, right? Super. No, Moto, he was that? cool. He was cool. There was only one time where he's like, uh, tell me about the F-35 electronic warfare capabilities and the tactics in the, in the current threat. And I'm like, stop. I don't want to yeah. go to jail. This is wait till you can get in the vault. Can I give advice to people like that? What's that? Get oh. a hobby. Don't that's make this hobby. all the only thing you do or you will not be successful. Gonky will true. tell you. <laughs> the day that I bought a 79 Trans Am in Enid, Oklahoma was the day that I started getting good at flying. You need something else. It's exciting. It's great. You can't make it everything. You'll burn out. That's true. I did a video on that. Yeah. Don't do not do your... Oh, your I thought you meant on Trans Ams. That'd be cool. I had a Trans Am. What year? 99. Mm, that's not... I mean, yeah, Gen 4. Yeah. Uh... uh you think about Finney flight? Probably yeah, why not. Probably they're a fourteen year old in twenty twenty one. Stuff they're playing Call Let's of Duty. Be honest, yeah. the fourteen year old's probably more mature than you are right now. Yeah, <laughs> it's probably seen more anyway. Can you give me something to become a fighter pilot? On omnipatria defeats That is the blessing of the fighter pilot. Good luck. Yes. Uh do Never your homework. Never do your surrender. research. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I did not. Next question. Wait, what? I don't know. Is the hookup scene in Top Gun the real thing? And is that where fighter pilots supposed to get their wives? No. Wait, I was, what do you know? You weren't, a, I mean, come on. You were a Navy reserve pilot. I Let me tell Fallon you, from an active duty. I was at Fallon a lot, dude. Real I've been to the deal. Fallon O Club. I've never Four seen anyone sing deployment. to a woman at a, at an O Club ever. Naval aviator. Yeah. The answer to this question is no. Although, yeah, my best friend, Clipper, in the book, mm -hmm. met his wife at the Fallon Oak Club. She was it the bartender? The hot mm -hmm. one? Yeah. Not the one you knew, though. Oh. Not that way, but... <laughs> of course. No, not me. Super nice woman, but yes. But no, that is not realistic. I wish it was. Uh, I love them. Yeah, sure. They're fine. Great. C-130s. Great. They rolled Great down stuff. the strip. They flew me in the Balad one time. I was like, oh my God. Because they did the lights out, like split out. Yeah, some of this the... stuff, I'll be honest with you. I have a lot of respect for like, so I work with a lot of C-17 guys now, yep. C-130 guys. They do some cool, like some stuff that I'm like, dude, Yeah, no thanks. Without yep. an ejection seat, 
hard pass. So I, I have a lot of respect. Uh, I have, I've heard they're a little overpriced for what you get. That's all I've heard. I, I don't know anything about them per se. I don't have a seaplane rating. Do you know anything? You don't do. No, I have a buddy who has a seaplane rating and I want to get one. Oh, thanks, Jason. Nice I agree with that statement. Most controversial aviation opinion. The term is aircraft, not aircrafts. Get a better. Stop putting aircraft. an S on it. What if that it's not plural. be controversial? Aircraft. It's like deer. Still, still aircraft. Four aircraft. Five aircraft. You sound dumb when you say aircrafts. Was that directed directly at me or just in general? Do you say aircrafts? No. I've never heard you say. You're not foreign. No. Yeah. No. Uh, yeah. So I've been waiting for this one because my old boss was in that movie. So I didn't want to like get fired after the fact. Yeah, it's, it's cringy. So now that I'm fired anyway... Definitely going to do Operation Red Flag IMAX. Speed and Angels, I know Paco. I don't really have anything. And also, I try to stay away from the Navy stuff because I don't feel qualified necessarily. I thought Speed and Angels, correct me if I'm wrong, it's the one where they follow the two last Tomcats. The Tomcats, yeah. I thought Tomcats. it was good. I mean, it, it, it. I thought it was really good, actually. It was a good documentary for what it was. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think the C6, Z06 is the ultimate track weapon if you get the valve issue replaced. Because uh, that engine had valve. Uh, it was 2003, four. 2004 to 2013. Hmm. Uh, but it was a good track weapon. And then the ZR1, obviously, I, I love that car. Um, but. E nerdy. I have no idea what that means. Is that... Uh, what do you think about electric planes? Oh, I think grammar and spelling is appropriate and important in life. Um, I think electric planes will happen eventually. He Why said not? effing spell check. So it was a spell check problem. Sure it was. I say that all the time too. You got to, I need you to tone down the anger here. This isn't right? angry. It's fun. This is like being in a ready room. I'm ridiculing all of these people. This is great. I feel like I'm back in the Navy. Thank you for this. They can ridicule me back. Uh, That sounds great. I love more fuel. Don't they do that? Isn't that a thing? Not for ours. But I mean, it is a thing for other ones, right? Like the Stupers have that option too. I'll let you answer this. So many. (laughs) Every female fighter pilot, in my opinion, is hot. Everyone. Oh, no, 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 no. We're talking about physical temperature, correct? No, we're talking. Yeah, sure. Let's go with that. <laughs> Let's go with it's, that. It's warm in that. You got all the gear on. Yeah, sure. Right. Is that Hot flashes. Mean? If you need to show me about a proper race of Vetter Camaro, hit me up. I'm a pro. Well, I trust your your judgment. Define pro. Uh, I feel personally attacked as a non-flying patch. Thanks. The ammo one is them. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for attacking you. It's just, I mean, it's weapon school. Like it's the whole point is it's for fighters. Why do, why are tankers? There's a tanker weapon school. No, why are you going to set the boom on? There is a tanker weapon school. There is a no I kidding. I would love to know what they teach there. They light the boom on fire and use it as napalm. I guess. I Shut don't up. know. No, they don't. <laughs> that would be Shut worth up. it. I'd give you a patch to do that. That'd be uh, awesome. I guess I'm really far behind. Why do they have planes that are able to carry some munitions and can't carry others like nukes? Is it pylons? Yes. Design. It's, it's design. It's just it's the 100% design. It's 100% pylons. Okay. Well, pylons it is. Pylons. Uh, oh, we're back. Oh, he redid it. Uh, with the growing call for renewable energy, what are your thoughts on electric planes? Uh, can never be a propeller because it might get the extension cord caught in the prop and that'd be bad. That's the worst dad joke ever. I will say when the technology matches what we have, yeah. then it's something to consider. Until then, it's vaporware. Uh, yeah, sure. Eventually, I'll, I'll do the Grand Theft Auto. I've, so I've been playing as a cop in Grand Theft Auto. Shut up. Have I you have, really? I have. Yeah, it's awesome. It's a lot of fun. Can, is there any... How old are you? You're 38, right? 38. 
Is there any 30 year old women in this group that would like to take mover on a date and get him out of his house? <laughs> no, there are none. It's a lost cause. I, it's I'm not stuck. a That's why I started doing CrossFit so I could meet people. Yeah. Let's talk about cult. that. I, I did guarantee CrossFit you, today. a little counter of how many people are in here just it's by uttering 271. The word CrossFit, yeah. I'm going to lose all my subscribers. Yeah. So listen, dude, I went today and I looked at the, it's the wad, right? Wad, yeah. wad. Thanks be wad. to wad. So I was like, what are we doing today? And it said thrusters. Yeah. And I thought that was the thing that chicks do where they put the bar across their lap and just hump the no, air. Those are glute bridges. Come on, bro. In the bar. No, that's, those are called hip thrusters, hip thrusters. And so glute bridges. I was like, this is going to be easy. I can do like a million hip thrusters, right? Yeah. I mean, just the bar. Uh -huh. No, this was this crap where you got to well pick it up. It is. Did well. you do the wad today? Adam no, Coe or whatever. The same. I love that you think, it's a, it's, it's a one cult. We are I, in the I same religion of like, CrossFit. That literally, there is like It's centralized one command. No, it's centralized. No. Right? No. No? I don't know. I don't know what box you go to. Can you call it a Container. box? Container. How, how does an Air Container. Force guy go to a CrossFit gym? That's got to irk you to say box. I don't say box. Well, I just said it, but I don't say it in common. But I have done I, thrusters. You know well and where what my wife does for a living, and I am very sure. well versed in all this. Is that how you met her? You joined the cult? No, she just no. turned you on to the cult. After no, you... she got into it after we were together when we were in Meridian. She got into personal training and all that. Okay. Anyway, all right. Back to the back to your thrusters. Back to the blessings of the fighter pilot. That's right. Yeah. Um, that's how far behind. Can, can we start that? Uh, I need yeah, to break the sound barrier. Was it can? Yeah. Uh, huh? that, you're not going to get friendly fire. Don't worry. Is, does it, wait, I, actually, I want to, I, I wish he would. Is he talking about inducing friendly fire or is he talking about somebody shooting him down? If he could write back, I'd be curious because I actually have a point on that. But It'll probably be an hour before I get to this question. That's fine. That's how far behind I am. This is fun. Uh, We're doing great. Probably spinal compression. Yeah. They, yeah. Uh, 33 for the air force, 32 for the Navy. How do you know this stuff? God, because I wrote the FAQ. So people wouldn't keep asking these frequently asked well, questions, but you. nobody ever reads the <laughs> questions. Uh, you know, the answer to this, why, what is you, what is this snobby thing you've got going about? You can't be a, um, Naval aviators. I don't yeah. know. Cause it sounds better than Navy pilots. It was some pickup line at the Miramar O club. I'm sure. Uh, yep. Yep. I agree with that. I have not, I have no. not, but I did see Iron Eagle and that was Israeli. Basically the same. Pretty much. What countries have you traveled to as a naval aviator? Thank you. And you traveled more than an air force aviator. And so no, the air Navy, force were just if, fighter pilots. At least as a ship guy, we don't really travel to countries. Just sit on port. the boat and look at them. No, we pull in the port. And I've been to a lot of places. I was primarily on my four deployments a Westpac. So I spent my time in Singapore, Hong Kong, Australia, and then Dubai. We didn't travel a lot in the Air Force, but I was a reservist. So, you know, we went to war. We but then back. active duty doesn't either, right? Is that am I wrong? Like an active duty squadron, they go over, they do their stuff, they come back, right? <laughs> they'll no, they'll do like um like good deal trips to like the Philippines to go work in like a exercise. Uh, I've talked to guys that have done Bulgaria, um, you know, Dubai, stuff like that. Dubai is fun. If you go, uh, I recommend snowboarding in the mall. I wish I knew when this comet was cause I don't know what that means. Oh, Hey, it's, uh, Mr. Gun pilot Flores. Hello, sir. I read your book. Thank you for all did the you? stuff. I did. Yeah. It was awesome. phenomenal. Dude, that guy, I'm I'm nothing compared to him. That's true. Will be. Yeah. All right. Uh oh. Here we go. It's just a Mustang. It's true. I thought you got triggered when I would call it that. Yeah, I, I do actually. Because there's not a <laughs> Mustang on it anywhere. <laughs> it is a, a uh, 2020 Shelby GT 500 It's a Mustang. It's and a Mustang. Mustang GT 500 And Shelby. also it's an automatic because you no longer know how to shift. Uh, that's not true. It's a dual clutch. Okay. Where's the, where's the clutch? Internal. Right. Inside the computer. Because you no longer know how to shift. I know how to shift. 
Do you? Yeah. You drive a stick right. shift. Let okay. me come out. I'll drive your car and show you. Uh, that's going to be a no. <laughs> <laughs> I do want to drive that BMW. You did that video on that looked fun. Uh, Spanish Air Force. I have no opinion. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, oh, Richard Robb says, if you're going to, to mean women, I like the nice women. I've already explained all of this to Mover. Look, I'm going for fitness. Whatever you want to call it. And to join a cult. Uh, no. <laughs> Go watch my interview with Wombat. Hip thrusters sound like they belong to an F-35. Yeah, the F-35 true. needs some hip thrusters is what they need. Would it be possible for fighters to escort T-17s conducting airborne insertion operations? Yes. Sure. Why not? Yes. Who is Andy Stump? He is a former Navy SEAL. Great guy. I would like to meet him, and I'd like to be on his podcast, frankly, because he seems like a really genuine person that doesn't play the games. That's what I'll tell you. Now that I'm a CrossFitter, can I be on his podcast? Probably. Maybe we can both go. You're not a CrossFitter, though. No, I'm a Navy guy, so we're all in. So to speak? Mm -hmm. Is it like a innuendo thing or something? What are you in your innuendo. <laughs> uh, don't know what that means. That yeah, sounds like know. some video game. My guess uh, is they do it in a simulator first. That's my guess. Correct. I'm not 100% no, sure what he's talking about. They do it at OT, operational testing. Everything goes through uh, OTDT, development mm -hmm. testing, operational testing. Then they develop the tactics. They do it in the sim. They do it dry. They do it live. I mean, that's just the way it typically works. Ah, uh, God. I don't, I don't think no. so. Because once you hear the plane, you're already dead. So no. EMP that. That's also, that would be bad. Over, I love the channel. I grew up around Tomcats. It was a career Leo. Thank you for your service. Turn defense contractor. You make them tell you no ethos is one I've shared a long time. Keep up the good work, sir. Nice. Uh, I did spend class, dude. I, I did. I tried it last Sunday. I won't be doing it again. I told you, right? It was not. My wife drug me to one that she taught, and I almost couldn't leave. There was no scenery. Really? Hurt. Yeah, it just wasn't. I, I'm huh. in a very old community. You know, it's a very, you know, like you, if you want to see Meemaw on a spin cycle, spin nice. bike, that's what you, you go for. Nice. You know, Meemaw and then her husband next to you. He's also in the back. Mm -hmm. But. Yeah. Uh, Farley. What does Farley mean? It's not a term. It's a call sign. It's a person. He's a human. He has feelings. He was on this channel. I've interviewed him. Is the single person concept still a rule? I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. Must not be a rule. What would you prefer in a mission? More payload or stealth? Payload. So to speak. Um, it depends. What am I doing? Like, Doesn't I think matter. that would kind of be... More yeah, payload. I mean, if I'm going to go, like, deal with some Sams... If they Payload. can't see me, go all in, man. Leroy all right. Jenkins, that Don't. I'm going to put a moratorium on these. Have you, what do you think of X country? Cause I don't have an opinion. Yeah. They're all these. great. Or they're, they're all not. great. If they're an matter. ally, they're, they're great. great. If they're an enemy, I hate them. That's sure. it. That's the, we whole don't thing. have enemies anymore. Do we? I don't know. I don't think so. Favorite, funniest. Oh, I don't know. I do like that it does all your checklists for you. Like you can put the, oh, the checklist. Yeah. Like on the runway, you put it in burner. It tells you that you forgot to arm your seat or close your canopy. You know, those are nice reminders. It's very nagging. <laughs> very nagging. It does nag. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. That's a little too close to home on that question. True story. Yeah. Read your book also, Wombat. Seriously, a great read. Oh, look, you got the author to author. Look at that puppy. That was a cute a good looking dog. dog. Oh, here we go. Uh, 
If it was since the hijackers put the plane near vertical dive, can I... uh, it depends. Okay. I haven't seen the movie. I've been told I need to watch it. I have not seen it, but it depends. Uh, does the military have courses that no. increase your mental fog now? I say again, situational awareness. <laughs> Is there something like a uh, booger or something? Know. What's he trying know. to tell There's me? There's probably something. I'm probably doing something wrong. He's trying Time to get to a get new th- Corvette. I am on the list, but the Shut list up. is long really? and distinguished. Huh? For I'm number three at my days. local dealer. Mm-hmm. Wow. Arriving in 2026. That's an automated manual to show. See? You. Nothing wrong with that. Your pilots haven't heard of the Stormbreaker LMAO. I, I do know what LMAO stands for, though. What that, isn't that a band? Yeah. Definitely. All right. If she says she rescues dogs, run. Don't walk. Run. I've got 20 dogs and feeding in my kitchen right now. Well, she's got a problem because I rescue dogs as well. Yeah. I've got I was going to say, if she says she rescued dogs, that's whatever the equivalent panty dropper is for mover. It's true. My panties will drop if someone says that. <laughs> Do you ever yell bingo during a wad? What does that mean? It's when you're out of gas. I know that, but you say that in I don't know. CrossFit. I don't see wads. God, can you imagine that show with Blue Angels flying F-35? It would be just disgusting. I'm sure they will. Well, you know, Victoria's mm. Secret's doing plus-size models now, so. Well, no, I mean, how and, long and the Charlie's, Illustrated. they hung on. So it's going to depend what comes next. I think they should go to the whatever the next T-45 replacement is, like the T-7 or whatever. Yeah. Oh, uh, let's see. We should probably. What do you think of mover a stand? I've got a country. It's great. Awesome. Any soreness from the CrossFit? Yes. Yeah. See, yesterday I think that, there was that no- was actually Jen flirting a little there. I don't. That's okay. CrossFit flirting, is what that that's was. Because of the, the cult. Yes. I told you it works. I guarantee your private chat has a message from Jen. Uh, no, I don't know what that means. Is there any aircraft that would be intimidating to fly? No, no. Oh, here's one. Should I fake my orgasms? No, it depends. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say it depends. <laughs> it depends. It's a nice car, though. Uh, does Air National Guard consider corporate experience when looking at a candidate for non-flying jobs? Why would it matter? I think, I don't know. I don't think that's a thing. Uh, what is HAI going to have you doing at Heli Expo? Uh, I think there's some level of song and dance, um, like a dance routine. Ooh. Maybe some, something choreographed with the Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders because they're there. You know, if you if you say something, you can manifest it. Right? Yes, you can. You can believe something. That is being. a secret to achieving your goals. <laughs> Just keep saying it. That's how I know this stream has gone far too long. Um, is it hard to become a fighter pilot in the Navy or Air Force? And our spots even more limited no, in the Navy because easy. you're they on a ship. Out to anybody now. Um, <laughs> it's. Uh, I mean, I, actually, in my cold de sac alone, I think all ten people have been fighter oh, pilots. Oh, dude, don't be, don't be nice. Don't be like, don't be mean. Don't be mean. Of course it's hard. It's elite. Make them tell you no. It's not impossible, but it's. Do they have a dance class at CrossFit? I love that this is now degenerated to CrossFit. Jen's back. Yeah. I told you. That wasn't Jen. That was, no, Jen uh... has made a comment. Oh. Uh, let's see. Wombat. This one's for you, buddy. No, since I, I put a moratorium on it, now they're going to you. They're like, oh, I did not. Dad says um, no. Let's go to mom. But I will tell you, I really liked being in Singapore. That that city is, at least when I was there, was amazing. So, um, Wilford, uh, not Wilford Brimley, the um, God, the, the the real annoying voice guy. I don't know what they would do now. Because wasn't it that it was a woman's voice for a reason back in the day? Yeah, because the studies showed that men were more likely to 
hear a screeching woman's voice over another guy. But, but what that's now? Obviously, right. So I think you need something as what's this? It's not Wilford Brimley. It's uh, hold on. I don't know what you're talking about. Gilbert Godfrey. Oh, that would be that. That's who I think that'd be good. Should be you know the Gilbert Godfrey guy. That'd be good. All right, I have reached the end of the chat. Thank God. No, it's, hold on. it is time to end this. Yeah. I've got things yeah. to do, people to see. Do you? I do. Makes you so sad. We'll bring you back, Wombat. You got to do the thing with the flight of the intruders. Exceptional math skills are not required to be a fighter pilot. I get that question a lot. Nice. Why are people making fun of the Space Force? Why aren't they? What does the Space Force do? Some could say the same for the Air Force. We have jets. Look, we're it's picking back up again. You got just keep it going. Twenty four hour live mover. <laughs> if you could have a joyride in an F twenty two, F twenty two all day long. Yeah, all day long. Uh, well, then get good. <laughs> yeah. That's it. That's easy. Good. If that's the least problem you have. No, that's yeah. the smallest problem you have. It's a piece of cake. Top Gun Maverick. It's going to be bad. It's going to be so bad. It's good. No, it'll be good and bad. It's just got to be its own movie. If you go in there thinking it's going to be like the have original. Have you seen Ghostbusters? Have I? No. Hmm? Like the original? Yes. No, the new one. No. I got to go see that. No. So. Uh, anyway. Why not? I don't know anything about them. Yeah, I don't either. And I'm, I'm, that's interesting because the next book is going to have some interesting twists and turns on this type of stuff, I think. And I've got a lot of research to do. I disagree. Um, what do you the information about? on the web is completely unlimited. I would say that 39 would be too old to be a pilot. You can sure. probably do another job, but it's going to be too old to be a pilot. And one of the things I like to point out to people that want to do these things at a very older age like that, like us, when you're young, you can put up with just about anything. As uh, you're older, uh, all the BS games that you got to play as a an O one, you really don't have the stomach for. You know, I mean, it's it's designed for a naive twenty something, not a mature thirty something. I agree. Um, I also like that everybody tags me as at Wombat. Thank you Wombat's for that. Wombat's got some people Jen, sliding into his Jen, games. hit me up. I'll send you a signed copy. Um, <laughs> uh, top or Harley or Gonky? Gonky. That's a tough one, dude. That's Gonky. a tough one. That's a tough one. They're both the world's greatest fighter pilot. The only uh, difference between Topper Harley and Gonky is that Topper Harley's motorcycle runs. Ooh. Favorite guilty pleasure movie? I feel like this turned into like a dating site did it, it sure did yeah this is favorite this, this guilty thing. pleasure movie i like yes. i like uh war movies yeah. like i'll watch a little um lone survivor that gets me fired up stuff like that it makes me feel motivated again you should buy a movers book uh she actually passed away Shh, that's gonna be hard then she, she died that's yeah. definitely she'd gonna have, put she'd have to do it from the beyond yeah which would be Noticeable. Be uh, noticeable. So what's new with you, man? What's going on? What's on the future? Wait. Is oh, there more? Answer some artillery questions. Well, if I have artillery questions, I'll hit you up. He's got a I'm lot stopped. of uh, a lot of candy in this photo. See that? photo. Oh, the artillery yeah. question guy. No, we've done. He sent some stuff. He's pretty badass. He's yeah. He's, that's what I'm he's saying. Done, he's, he's got done a lot some, of some really cool stuff. That's. I mean, that I, I, that was not. Okay, I love that everything state. that comes out of my mouth you think is me making fun of somebody. That was my yeah, actual admiration. You're mean. You're a mean person. I'm not. Yep. I'm not. All right. Have you uh, seen the F-35 footage of? The... We just did that. <laughs> we did that one again. Oh man, that's awesome. I, I think she retired. She didn't die. She just retired. Uh she retired. She's yeah. not. Dead. Uh, we've talked about that too. The conformal fuel tanks. Yep. See, we could do this for 24 hours and just get new people. Ah, oh, dude, I don't think I could do that. So 
So what's going on with you? Like we've spent all this time talking about other things. Well, that's that's the whole point. We talk about everything else. But well, I want to know what's going on with you. What's the next big thing? APU or JFS? That's what they have. Glad you liked the book. What do you mean? What's going on with me? Nothing's going on with me. That's not. True. I you actually have to get off of the stream and go talk to some helicopter people. So okay. Well, that's a uh, bummer. That's my afternoon. Maybe go run with the dogs. Okay. You know, going to fly the T-38 tomorrow. Be fun. Are you? Nice. Mm -hmm. How many days are you going down there? Three. How many days it's, do you have left? So we're going to do a New Orleans uh, TDY next month oh. in, um, in January. Okay. So that'll be the end to January 30th. That'll be my last flight as a reservist. Because we're That's fired. a bummer. Yeah. Movers on the couch now. There are height restrictions to being an able aviator. Where are you seeing that? I don't know. It's higher up there. Thomas. I don't know. Sure. I used to go to Lafayette all the time. Uh, it was literally right above the one you just clicked on. <laughs> dude, and people get mad at me. I got the guy on one of the streams. He's like, you missed my my question. And, you know, I'm unsubscribing. And it's like, dude, these things, you see how far oh, behind I am. Um, here's one. Jen's talking like, just, about CrossFit. Root Beer is talking about his car. Is that That's not a real Shelby. So let's talk about Camaros. Yeah. I am trying to order a ZL11 LE. Even though I'm going to track the ZR1, I am going to track it. I still, what I'd like to do is get a ZL11 LE and trailer it around the country to go to the different tracks. You're going to need a better truck. It'll tow it, but I was going to tow it with an RV. So you're going full off the reservation. I am. Like you're just going to... I was going to go to Coda. I was going to go to Atlanta. social norms. Bondurant. Yep. I would go to um, Watkins Glen, Pocono. You're just naming tracks now. Did you write That's this That's right, because I would try to go, go to them all. Okay. And just drive your car. Um, and drive it at the track. Would you ever come to Alaska? Alaska's scary. I've been up there. Have you? I've never been to Alaska. Yeah, thanks for reading the book. Uh, but you did. It's fiction. Oh, I've yeah, read the book. It's fiction. That's not supposed to be you. It's not me. Yeah. I'm not Rattler. But yeah, yeah. I went to Elmendorf. It's... Yes. Where's Where's K A R A? Kadiana Regional. So if you go there, you get fuel. They give you free lunch. Where is that at? A Kadiana Regional, New Iberia. Oh. It's very popular with the Navy folk. I might have been there. That's why I'm asking. Now See, Root Beer, who also has a Mustang. See that right there? I can't says, tell if it's a real Shelby or not. I think it's a Mustang. It's got a horse in the center. Yeah. Does yours have a horse in the center? Mine does not have a horse anymore. Because it's not. It's a nice looking car. I like that color, though. Yeah. Well, are you going to just talk down to him now because you've got the GT500 and. No. That's not how Mustang people do it. <laughs> uh, no, Mover's not retiring. I have. Uh, Five years before I could even think about that. No. Do you think a few decades you, maybe? Not in a few years. Human. I hope not, or else it's gonna really like dinosaur stink? Dude, that would be really yes. bad. Yes. We vlog the one LA trip if Yes. You need to come take a ride in the Shelby. Have you ever been in one? Yes. No. I don't know. We'll see. I don't have one. What was that one that we were on? That was a good website. Fighter Sweep? They no. went out of business. No, 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 no. Don't bring that up. No. The, that was the independent. The one we were just on just now? The one that did the the when you had five people on and we talked about thoughts on Afghanistan and they posted it. That seems like a good oh, I don't know. Like the is it Funker? Funk Funk? You know what I'm talking about. Okay. No, I don't know what you're talking about. All right, so registration, what time is it? Registration has just closed for the Folds of Honor Fight for Honor 2021 with 84 registrants. We raised Am I still helping with that or no? Do you yes. Know? Okay. Yeah. What day is it? It's the 11th and the 18th. Ooh, I think I'm, hold on. 
Stand by. Let me check my calendar. Do I need to be funny? I am off on the 11th and I'm working okay. the night of the 18th. But All right. Well, let's <clears throat> take that offline. Yeah. Say goodbye to the people at home. Yeah. See, you have anything else to add as our guest of honor? That was a good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, anything to add? Anything you want to talk about before we leave? I'm turning no. the chat off so I don't see it. No, this was really good. Time. Thanks for having me. It was fun. Okay. Well, good night or good afternoon or good morning, depending on where you are. And have a nice day. Mm -hmm.